IAF's love for Mirage 2000 fighter aircraft makes it an integral part of its scheme for now. Mirage was originally developed as a supersonic interceptor against bombers, but soon the pilots realized that it is much more than an interceptor. It was truly the first multi-role fighter ever developed and its performance is at par with F-16. Before we proceed further, we request you to like, share and subscribe the channel. Israel Air Force used Mirage for surprise attacks because it can go at twice the speed of sound and can catch enemy unaware. Delta wings of the aircraft allow it to carry more fuel and weapons without any external tanks. Mirage 2000 features 9 hard points for carrying weapon system payload in terms of armaments, 5 on the fuselage and 2 on each wing. The Mirage is equipped with built-in twin DEFA 554 autocannon 30mm revolver type cannons with 125 rounds each. These cannons are placed inside on a single seat variant. The Mirage can carry laser guided bombs, air to air missiles and combat missiles both from MBDA as well as air to surface missiles. The centerpiece of the Mirage 2000 overhead is the Thompson CSF RDY radar Doppler multi-target with lookdown shutdown capability. The multifunction radar is capable of air-to-ground, air-to-air, and air-to-sea operations. Because of the combat aircraft's ability to hit long-range targets with pinpoint accuracy and drop a variety of bombs and missiles, including laser-guided ones, large, deep penetration fighter jets were chosen for the pre dawn strike on the biggest terror camp of the Jaish e Mohammed terror outfits in Pakistan. IAF added 24 new Mirage 2000 to its fighter jet arsenal following the successful operation in Pakistan. Eight of the 24 fighter jets were in flight ready conditions then. Another reason Mirage 2000 was chosen over SU-30 MKI for the Balakot strike was because of an Israeli system to spice 2000 GPS guided bombs. It's a cutting edge laser guided device that can turn any bomb into a GPS-enabled missile that can hit enemy targets from afar. The Mirage 2000 was India's frontline fighter until India struck a deal for the 4.5 generation Rafale fighter aircraft. It has strengthened the Indian fleet since the Kargil War until now. Mirage 2000 proved to be a game changer for India in the Kargil conflict and turned the tide of the war in country's favor which fought battles on the icy heights of Kargil during the nearly three-month-long conflict and also hit enemy targets in the Tiger Hills besides testing success in Marpola Peak, mountain peak on the line of control in June 1999. IAF has shown keen interest in the twin-seater variant of the aircraft to compensate for the accident of a Mirage 2000 fighter aircraft that crashed in Morena, Madhya Pradesh. IAF plans not to let the fleet of Mirage 2000 get affected because there are these are the aircraft on which our Air Force relies heavily since the Kargil War. This is the reason why the IAF does not want these aircraft to be retired until their perfect replacement is ready. Although at present IAF has been operating these aircraft for the last three decades and their three squadrons have been stationed at Gwadir Air Base. Mirage 2000 along with Sukhoi 30 MKI form the backbone of the Indian Air Force which is providing upgrades to enhance its capabilities. The Air Force currently has around 50 Mirages which will be in operational service till 2035. The objective of Indian Air Force in purchasing Mirage 2000 retiring from the French Air Force is seen by defense experts from different perspectives. Some experts view it from the point of view of using 300 vital spare components such as engines and airframes of these Mirage 2000s. The 
IAF purchased two trainer variants of Mirage 2000, retired by the French Air Force. These aircraft compensated the ones lost by IAF during accidents. This strategy was greatly implemented and important because the used airframe is cost-effective and is fully capable of meeting the needs of the IAF. People knowledgeable about defense matters say that the Mirage 2000 will be in operational fleet and maintained until the Tejas MK2 fighter aircraft reaches the production stages or the initial squadron is deployed in the service of the IAF. The Indian Air Force has upgraded the Mirage 2000 aircraft by signing a contract worth 2.5 billion US dollars in 2011 with the Dassault Aviation. The IAF, which at that point in time was in possession of 51 Mirage 2000s, were upgraded to Mirage 2000 ITI standard. In that upgrade, the Mirage 2000 fighter aircraft were to be upgraded with latest sensors, avionics, and electronics to enhance its service life to enable it to serve the IAF for a long time. However, it was not just the dissolved aviation that caused the delay in the upgrades as various other contracts were signed for upgrading various parts of the aircraft, such as avionics and upgraded of the system was to be performed by the tails, whereas a separate contract was signed with MBTA for next generation Mika air-to-air -air missile. A new mission computer with highly memory has been provided in the upgraded Mirage 2000 along with a new radar, advanced navigation and electronic warfare system, advanced communication and identification system. Apart from this, the cockpit of the aircraft has also been majorly upgraded where two new lateral displays have been introduced along with the glass cockpit. Helmet mounted displays for long range missiles are also part of the upgrades. There is though no major upgrades in the Stegma M53 P2 engine which is light in comparison with other fighter jet engines and powers the Mirage 2000. These engines of Mirage have been serviced and issues resolved to make it ready for use in the new aircraft. The repair work has been done by Saffron, a French multinational company that designs, develops and manufactures aircraft engines. The performance level of Mirage 2000s has vastly improved after these upgrades. Under the Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative, it should be ensured that the original equipment and spare parts of the fighter aircraft are now manufactured in Bharat, so that there is no shortage of the spare parts till the fighter aircraft is in service. The Mirage can carry out deep strike missions. It is truly one of the most dependable fighter ever built. Jai Hind. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel for more such updates.